you. welcome back again to my channel today mj fonzon so today we are going to be cooking this delicious healthy gizzard stew and cow tripes as you can see i washed this gizzard to be so clean and i properly washed the cow tripes you know and it's time for me to season of course so i added the washed gizzard into the pot and then i added the cow tripes into the pot and it's time for me to add some extra seasoning I added onion because onion is very compulsory for this recipe. After adding the onion, I added Maggi cube. I just added one Maggi cube to the pot because it had a lot of flavor and I added thyme and curry powder to the pot. As you all know, curry powder is very important in this stage. So I added salt as well. After adding some pinch of salt, I added beef seasoning powder. You can add any seasoning powder of your choice and mix thoroughly on high heat. As you can see, the heat is already high enough and i'm just mixing thoroughly to make sure everything blend i added water to the pot you can add a cup of water or add water to you know the stage you can see it can cook this to be very soft because this needs to be cooked till it's tender so i just mix thoroughly and make sure everything mixed properly and then i cover the pot and allowed it to cook for a few minutes until it's soft as you know this is also very important that you cook till it's soft so make sure your meat is not hard after some minutes as you can see looking at this video you can see the meat is already soft and the color has changed as well and you can see the cow tribes is so tender right now you can taste it or you can just you know use your fork to pierce and you see that it's already soft at this stage it's time for me to fry the gizzard you all know this gizzard needs to be fried because this is peppered gizzard stew and I'm frying with vegetable oil. So I added the cooked gizzard into the vegetable oil and I mixed thoroughly in the pot. I allowed it to fry to its golden brown. As you can see, the color has changed and it's well fried. Don't even allow this to get burnt, guys. Just fry it for a few minutes to its golden brown. After some minutes, as you can see, this is already golden brown. It's well fried, so I just took it out of the oil. And I'll also be using the rest of the ingredient. As you know, the cow stripes I cooked earlier is ready. And the stock, that is the water from the meat I cooked, is also ready. And this is vegetable. I'll be using spinach. This is frozen spinach. I left it in the fridge, so it's frozen. And it's also what I'll be using. So at this stage, after frying the gizzard, I added the same oil into the pot. I'll be using for this pepper stew. I added onion. This is chopped onion, and then I added the fresh blended tomato and pepper mixture. This is fresh tomato and pepper I blended together, and as you can see, I added it into the pot at this stage. I mixed thoroughly and added thyme, just a little bit of thyme, and I also added the curry powder, just a little bit, and I fried together. I fried for some minutes and made sure this had no taste. As you can see, I added the pepper powder as well and the seasoning powder. You can add the pepper powder if you want extra pepper taste in your you know stew and i added the fried gizzard and also added the cow tribes and the stock into the same pot and as you can see i am mixing everything thoroughly to blend and i don't want any of this to be left out so it's time for me to add the spinach like i said earlier spinach is very very important for this recipe because it add extra you know health benefit to this stew this is peppered gizzard stew and adding vegetable is very important Although you can skip it if you do not want to add vegetable but i added the spinach and i mixed thoroughly as you can see everything has blended and it's so so yummy at this point the aroma in the house was so much like it tasted so good and i, I don't need to tell you guys how flavorsome this is so after mixing for some minutes i allowed it to stay on heat for just two minutes before i brought it down and as you can see you can eat this stew with anything you can eat this with rice you can eat it with semovita or any other carbohydrates and this protein is very healthy i mean the cow tribes and the gizzard is so nice and yummy but i ate mine with rice and it was so delicious trust me guys you need to try this out thank you so much for watching bye